everybody. Welcome, welcome to Quarantine Livestream number eight. <laughs> All right, we got some giveaways, we got some music, and we're talking boots today. You guys feeling lucky? <laughs> I am, because I'm with all of you, great ladies and gentlemen, on this fine Wednesday evening. It's fine as long as we are all happy, healthy, and smart, and I hope you are staying that way out there in the world today, staying safe, happy, healthy, and smart. How's everybody doing out there this spectacular evening Bryce is in the house Wally how's it going Patrick Izzo flag what's up James Dixon Desmond Adam thank you so much for joining me today how are you all feeling out there this evening mm, I'm feeling good I'm feeling good had a good day um, got a bunch of stuff done that I was looking to get done. Uh, phew, there's lots of stuff coming down the pipeline that I am really excited about. Let's get this party started. Chris, how's it going, Ray? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ray, boom. Nathan, Dawson, Neil. Whew. Yes, love you guys. It's great to see you again. All the regulars in the house. Woo! You guys are the best. Ted, Kid Bass is back in here. How's it going? How's it going? Junior, Moses, how's it going? Junior asks how my day was. It was pretty good. Uh, just was working. I'm just working. Uh, I got a lot to put out in the world, and I'm really excited to put it all out, to get all of these streams up, to get all these videos up. And this past week, I just am so excited, I can't sleep very well. So I, I woke up at like 4.30 this morning and just started working because I'm just so excited to get all this stuff out. I'm just so excited. <laughs> I know the world is just going crazy right now thanks to this COVID thing, but I'm, I'm really positive. I'm really happy. Um... Because, you know, all you guys are home and I feel like I can play some music and we can chat and we can, all, and we can do all this stuff uh, and sort of stay sane together. And uh, I just like being a part of that. So thank you for letting me be a part of that. Alexander, what's up? How's it going? Travis, good to see you again. Raymond Valencia, whew. yes, hello. The last live stream's big winner. Raymond Valencia. Uh, Blake emailed you back, but he didn't copy you in, so I got to email you. So don't worry, we didn't forget about you. And I didn't forget about everybody else who won, who I haven't contacted yet this week. I got to go through my list, and I will email you all if I have your email. If I don't, and you haven't heard from me by the end of tomorrow, please email me, jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com. Or just go to my website, jeremiahcraig.com, and there's a contact form right there that you can use to email me. So, without further ado, let's get into today's giveaways. I am very excited, and maybe you saw on the boot group or in Instagram, that we have the Boots and Ballads bottle openers back in the house, made by my dad's business, Twisted Willow Fabrication. And they just came in today, so I didn't get a chance to look for the video to play to show you how they were made. Um, I'll do that tomorrow because I will be giving away two more of these tomorrow. So two of these are up for grabs today. So let's get right into the first giveaway package, of course. The Twisted Willow Fabrication Boots and Ballads Bottle Opener. This is a one-of-a-kind. Well, not one-of-a-kind. There's very limited... There's very limited number of these. It's a limited edition bottle opener. <laughs> a CD of mine and also another phone wallet is up for grabs. 
bottle opener, phone wallet, and the CD. So you guys know how this works. I'm going to put up the thing down here, the comment now. Uh, let's get rid of this thing. And I'm going to put in the comment section, comment now, and everybody comments after that. You are entered. Uh, please don't spam like a reasonable amount of comments. I know it says once here, but my songs can go on to be pretty long, and I don't want to make you guys feel like you can't talk to each other while I'm playing a song. <clears throat> so, good luck, everybody. And then after I'm done playing the song, I'll choose the winner using a random number generator. Ah. Uh. Yo, love seeing all these comments come through. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, okay, so. I heard this song come through on my, my playlist this morning. It's an old blues song, really, really old blues song. And I was listening to it and I was just like, man, this is super relevant for right now. It's called... Uh, Hard Time Killing Floor Blues, and it was written by Skip James. be sure hard times just gonna kill you and drive a lonely soul you hear me singing this old lonesome song people you know that those hard times can't last as long Skip James. That's an old, old blues song. All right, stop it there, stop it there. Okay, here we go. We're going to be picking a winner from the random number gen generator. How many people are in here? 31. Hello, everyone. Okay, picking the random number now. Okay, okay, we are going to go down from the top this time. And the number is just five. So one, two, three, four, 
five. Abel Hernandez. He says he wants the bottle opener, and you get the bottle opener. All right, here it is. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, we got confetti in the cheers now. That's what I'm talking about. Congratulations, Abel. You get the bottle opener, the Boots and Ballads limited edition, the phone wallet, which also can work as a boot wallet and a CD. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ha ha. We're into this thing now. Get it. Congratulations. Spam. I just like that you commented spam, Lil Len. <laughs> spam. <laughs> Kid Bass, I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate you. All right. Boot check. Boot check. It's time. Ranch Road Walkers, yet again, I am getting so excited for the giveaway on Saturday. There is a pair of Walker boots, just like this, up for grabs, brand new, in your size, or Fayette boots, brand new, in your size, both men and women can, I guess, enter to win and I am announcing this Saturday on a Boots and Ballads live stream at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific. Whew, I am so pumped. If you haven't entered, I put in the uh, the video where you can at the, at the, in the link in the description down there. Um, but you should wait until after this live stream right here. I also put a link to the Twisted Willow Fabrication Facebook page because we are actually uh, working on something completely new and different. Uh, a couple of things. So you should like Twisted Willow Fabrication on Facebook because uh, you might get sneak peeks into it here and there. But man, is the stuff that we're making so cool. I saw a sneak peek today and my dad made some awesome stuff. I can't wait to share it with you guys. I t a boot safe. Dawson asks, do I have a boot safe? I don't have a boot safe. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boot safe. <laughs> Lock them up. Let's do it. <laughs> Twisted Willow belt buckle. That would be so cool. I love that idea, Flag. My dad's retirement is going really well. He's working more than he did when he was actually uh, employed at the job that he had before. So for those of you who don't know, my dad retired recently from his job, and he's been working on starting his own business, Twisted Willow Fabrication, for the past two years. So he's been doing work in the fabrication business part-time while also working during the day. So he just retired. Last week was his first full week retired and he's had a bunch of work and he's even throwing some proto prototype stuff together for me on the weekends. Like there's going to be some really cool stuff coming out of Twisted Willow Fabrication. This is this is awesome. This is like literally small business America. And it's really cool. It's really cool, guys. So definitely give Twisted Willow Fabrication a like on Facebook. The link is in the description. <clears throat> Belt buckle would be an awesome, awesome giveaway or piece of merch in the future. But we're not talking about belt buckles today. Let's get into the segment. We are talking about warm cowboy boots or cool cowboy boots. I'm not exactly sure how to theme this video like a lot of people have been messaging me talking about are cowboy boots warm or what are the best cowboy boots to wear in tropical regions i know there's a lot of you folks from indonesia who love wearing cowboy boots so 
I wanted to talk about the right boot to choose depending on the temperature, I guess. So let's get into that. <laughs> now this is from my experience. I have like, I don't know, 14 years of experience wearing boots and you might have different experiences and everybody's body runs at a different temperature. So the things that I find that work for me with a boot to wear during the summertime might not work for you. So I'm just gonna put that out there. But when I was sitting down to think about this after some of you guys asked me, I was like, well, what is a warm boot or what makes a boot warm and why am I fine wearing cowboy boots during the summer? So I see a lot of comments come through and they say, man, I can only wear cowboy boots uh, from the fall to the spring and then during the summer I have to wear something else because they are just too damn hot. Well, that might mean that you just run hot as a human being, but I think that there are around six, six things that I've noticed that make cowboy boots warmer or cooler. Okay, so I'm gonna get into that and I might be bouncing back and forth between them as I go through this because I have some examples here that are a combination of some of these things that I have listed. So first and foremost, what determines whether a boot is gonna be too hot is how it fits. Now I know we've been talking a lot about how cowboy boots fit and if a boot is too tight, everything that comes after this, everything that I say in the future of this video doesn't matter. If it's too tight, it's going to be hot because you got leather just pressed right up against your foot. There's no room for your foot to breathe at all. So I just want to put that out there first. Second, I think it comes down to the insole and outsole combination. Now, one of the things that I noticed is that when I'm wearing cowboy boots with insoles, kind of like this, except this is a exception. So, Ariat's uh, Justin Work Boots. If I'm wearing a cowboy boot with an insole, it's just more it's just more insulated if you think about it if you have a leather insole there's less in here there's less in here and if you have a insole that's foam gel whatever that happens to be that's like an insulator to the ground so your foot is gonna be much warmer if you have more material in the boot that keeps your foot warm so that's something to think about. That's why I like hard leather insoles in the summertime. So if you have a boot with a hard leather insole or maybe a soft leather insole that's non-removable, except that's gonna be a little bit warmer because you do have a little bit more there that's insulating your foot, then you know it's gonna be a little bit warmer. The less you have in your boot, the cooler it will be and the hard leather insole really allows for a lot of airflow too, but we'll get into that. So also I've noticed that rubber outsole boots are warmer too. So when I was testing the Bantamweight and the Rambler, I don't, the Rambler is in the box back here. So the Rambler has much thicker rubber tread on it. So it's going to insulate the foot a lot more than what a bantam weight is gonna because there's just less here. So usually a rubber outsole cowboy boot is gonna be warmer. So you, you mix that with an insole, that's gonna be a warm boot. Also, the type of lining really matters. A cloth lined boot is gonna be warmer, okay? Because it just holds that heat more. It doesn't, it doesn't, breathe as well as a, a leather does, especially cowhide. So this, this boot right here, as an example, rubber outsole, it has an insole, just like all the others do, and it is cloth lined. This is a very warm 
boot. This is basically insulated. Like it's it's a winter boot. This is going to be really, really hot. So you have to think about those things so far. We, we, we've covered the insole, the outsole, and the lining. A leather-lined cowboy boot is going to be cooler. So now that we have that, there are leathers that are cooler to wear in warmer climates or during the summertime. I, I like the ostrich. So ostrich leather is thin and supple and it feels great because it's so lightweight and, and uh, it's like perfect for hot climates, both full quill and the smooth ostrich. The ostrich leg is gonna be a little bit different because that's thicker and a lot more rigid. So you might not be as cool in an ostrich leg boot that you would be in a smooth ostrich or a full quill. So that is one leather that is good. I also like just like regular cowhide and a bull hide. Uh, they do well as long as you also have a leather outsole and a leather insole. Like the hard leather insole is the best. Uh, so you have hard, like it's leather in here, but it's not soft at all. It's not soft at all. It's, it's, a, it's a vintage feel. Another leather that is probably not the best to wear during the summertime is rough out rough out is so warm it's so warm guys so if you're thinking about maybe doing a rough out or a suede they're usually much warmer so i was wearing this boot in the late fall of last year it was sort of cool but man were my feet sweating like this rough out is warm and this is a perfect example of the next point that I have is another thing that comes into what what temperature or how hot your foot is gonna be is the height of the boot now this is a 16 inch tall cowboy boot this is from Hondo now, now, it is awesome, but it does run very warm because this, this boot just keeps all the heat inside because it's so tall. Yes, it does have a decent scallop here, which is what this V is in the boot. That's called a scallop. But it's just it just runs so tall, and it keeps all this heat in here. Plus, it's a rough out. Yes, it does have the leather outsole and a hard leather insole so it has those two things on the checklist but rough out hot tall hot like it is warm guys i should just like make a checklist a download a pdf <laughs> where you guys can just be like check this check this check this will it be too hot in the summer yes will it be too <laughs> that would be so cool i'm gonna make that i'm gonna make that <laughs> what point was i on Okay, so I was on the, the, the height, and I was just talking about the scallop, which is this V right here. So a deeper scallop I've found to be better for uh, airflow. So it allows for some air to get in the boot, at a, at a lower point so it's sort of like a vent kind of <clears throat> and uh, then can go in and sort of you know run through the boot because you're also supposed to have some nice heel slip and that allows for good airflow in the boot that comes down to fit so like I said fit is the most important thing first of all because you have to have the correct heel slip and the leather can't be like too too snug up against your foot like it, it especially around your toes that's just going to drive you crazy so you got to have a nice a nice fit and then after that it's just all leather mainly from my experience now there is one exception and that is the bantam weight this is just a really short 
It's a really short boot and it's really light. This is, this is like the closest thing to sneaker that I've ever worn that can also be called a cowboy boot. So this is the, exec the exception to everything that I'm saying here. So it does have the removable insole. It does have like a rubber outsole kind of thing. Um, but it is short and it is leather lined. So this is a cool, this is, this is definitely a, a boot that you could wear during the summer or in tropical climates. But I'm always gonna say that a traditionally made cowboy boot, traditionally made, is going to be the coolest and you're going to be able to wear it all year round. This is the perfect example. This is a Nakona that I got from my buddy Aaron Watson and you guys will see the video hopefully next week. I know I said that last week, but it's it's a it's I want it to be a good video. So, um I've used this boot in a couple other videos and live streams recently. This is the perfect boot. When I was like, what is going to be the perfect example to show for a good boot to wear during the summer? I I'm going with this because it fits me perfect. This is a 12B. That is my size. So B widths are kind of rare in the world. So this is the best fitting boot that I've ever tried. It also has a hard leather insole, a leather outsole, and it is a nice breathable leather. Like bull hide is a little bit thicker. So it, it's not going to be the coolest that it could possibly be, but it is going to be somewhat cool it has a leather lining all the way through it's re it's like i don't know 13 inches tall which is kind of tall but it also has a very deep scallop which allows for some good airflow because it fits so perfectly does that make sense to everybody i'll have to make a download because um i feel like this checklist is sort of interest is an interesting idea would you guys want a checklist? I want to know. Nope, not Aaron Watson, the country singer. That would be really cool, but not as cool as Aaron Watson, the boot enthusiast. Aaron is really busy. He's a busy dude. We've been talking, and uh, you will see him in that video. Uh, he hasn't been around the boot group, Neil, and... Uh, it's for good reason. <laughs> like, his work has got him crazy. <laughs> PDF Boomer. Boomer. <laughs> Love it. We don't need PDFs. I could just make something on my website. <laughs> who's who's going to... I want to know who's going to download it and print it off and then take it to Boot Barn and say, here, can you find me a boot with these specifications? <laughs> I want somebody to do that. I want somebody to print it off and take it to Boot Barn. <laughs> okay, I got a question here. Lexus asks, what do I think about Stingray cowboy boots? Are they good or bad? It all depends on what you're looking for. I think Stingray is such a good look. It's a completely different kind of leather though so it's really stiff in fact it's one of the hardest leathers to cut so factories can't even use the regular knives that they use on all of the other leathers they have to use scissors special scissors to cut stingray leather so it's super hard it's crazy rigid um, but apparently I haven't, I haven't tried it. I've seen them and I've touched the leather. I've touched the boots, but I've never actually been able to wear them. From what I hear, they are really stiff, but they are super tough. I want a pair. I really want a pair someday. Stingray boots look so good. Fun fact, that little white spot that you see on a, a lot of Stingray boots or a white line, they paint that there to sort of draw attention to what they call the eye, I believe is what they call it. 
um, which is like this really sharp point on the skin that they sand down so it's not as sharp. And it's like the biggest, what would you call it, button on the skin. So that's like, uh, they're all like little calcium deposits on the outside of the skin. So it's basically like having little round bones scattered across this leather. It's tough as hell. I would love to do more Lucchese reviews, sure. I can definitely do that when I get the chance to. All right. I think I am going to play a song. Let me just go through some of these comments and see what you guys think about this warm this warm cowboy boot idea. Was that helpful? I, was, I wasn't sure if it was actually going to be helpful or not. Sometimes I'm sometimes I'm not sure about the things that I that I make videos about. And then sometimes people tell me that was a really stupid video. But then on the same video people say, "Hey, that was really helpful." So, I don't know. Maybe I should just make all the videos and just leave it up to you guys to decide what's stupid or not. I don't I, like it does as long as it helps one person, that's really cool. That's what I that's kind of what I do it for. So, take it or leave it, I guess. Like if you think it's stupid, that's cool. There'll be more. There'll be more videos. C. Burgess says, I find the leather soles are cooler and the rubber soles keep your feet warmer. The height of the shaft can also make a big difference. Exactly. Exactly. I'm glad I'm not the only one who's noticing this. Thank you for that. Patrick Izzo says, I have never had a pair of boots that were too warm to wear. I live on the outside of Philadelphia. Oh, we're pretty close to each other. And the temps in the 90s with humidity well above 70%. Oh, I'm sure it can get like almost 100% over there. Raymond Valencia has noticed that rubber soles keep your feet warm. Leather soles keep your feet cooler. Yes. Dawson, I have already been to Nebraska. I've been there. But I would love to come back. I would love to come back. Alberta boots are sweet, Abel says. All right. So thank you for those comments. Thank you for that. I'm glad you guys are sensing the same thing. So I think it's time to play a song now. And then we will get into the next giveaway. in the summer or down by the equator oh. it just might turn you into a cowboy boot hater oh. choose all leather it's almost always better keep cowboy boots in your favor yeah. stay cool out there folks Time is upon us. <laughs> stay cool. How to stay cool in cowboy boots? That's a double meaning there. Maybe I should actually name the video that I take out of this. How to stay cool in cowboy boots? I don't know. With with a checklist. <laughs> with a checklist. Oh, all right, all right. So, like I said. Ranch Road Walker, bam. The Boots and Ballads giveaway is coming up on 8. Uh, it's coming out on March 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm going to announce the winner at that live stream. If you haven't entered yet, please do so. Like I said, the link is in the description 
For those of you who have already entered, and I guess for those of you who haven't but will after this stream, you have a chance to win four extra entries right now. That, I don't know, that 5Xs, your chances. 5X, that's crazy. Five times, you'll have five entries and you will be among the small elite few who have already won that prize. Neil won it on a couple of Mondays ago, and Governor Brown won it this past Monday, so we're going to have a third winner, so there's only going to be three people who will have five entries into the Ranch Road Walker Fayette giveaway huge huge chance again we're also giving away another twisted willow fabrication boots and ballads limited edition bottle opener we're giving away another wallaroo boot wallet aka phone wallet and another one of my cds this is gardener hands this is my first cd ever so again we're gonna run this thing the same way that we just did I'm going to put comment now down here in the comments, and then we'll see how it goes. Comment now. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to put up the... There it is. <clears throat> This song is a is a happy song. It's a song of adventure, a song of love, a song of triumph. Yes, it is one epic tale of tuning. No, <laughs> so this is a song about when I met my wife. I met my wife in the last year of college we were in the same group together, and it was the first day, and we split up into groups, and she ended up being in my group, and during the shuffle, while everybody was around trying to figure out what group they were in, she ended up sitting in the chair that I was originally sitting in before the, you know, shuffle had started, and she just said, Sorry, I commandeered your chair. And I was like, oh, I kind of like you. What's your name? So then I wrote this song after we started dating. And then we moved to Arizona together uh, less than a year later. which is what the EP, The Commandeer, is about. So here it is. This is The Commandeer. Surprise, surprise, thinking I was happily reserved. Knowing really nothing and being so absurd. For you took my eyes, yes, with your lovely words On that premiere summer night First in Paramount, you took my sight And you don't need to tell me what I found Shaman Amir Rosa gems and quirks waiting to be explored And both of us have a yearning to always learn a little more As we barter like pirates while the tide is out from shore Yeah, waiting to be taken to another world Where our love will be unfurled And I don't know how this was seeded to me but I gravel here Yeah Take me over, love You're the common dear yeah. Take 
take me in your arms and love We'll travel to the right Sharing inspiration while Laying in your stardust and knowing that it's we Right where I belong It is Ha! <laughs> Take it to the cities, I'm gonna take it to the towns And over a drama room, I'll tell the Elliots what I found I'll tell them to keep their ears wide as they travel round Yeah, for our love story, we'll go far Mythologized, but kept on par with every thought of you, my face fills between the ears. Yeah. Hey. Take me over, love, and you're the common dear. Yeah. The common dear. You can hear that on Spotify, Apple Music, and anywhere else you listen to music. All right, all right. We got 31 folks in here. Thanks all for hanging out with me today. This is a fun one. Yeah, buddies. Okay, okay, okay. Random number generator. Whoa. The random number generator is number one, so I'm going to go from the top again because it's the first comment. It's got to be the first comment. We got to reward it, and it's Dawson. Dawson is on top of it. The first comment, wow. Okay, way to go, Dawson. You get the four extra entries to win the Ranch Road Boots. And you also get the bottle opener, the wallet, and another one of my CDs. I think you have one? I don't know. You're just, you're just a regular winner, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. You got four extra entries, Dawson. You got four extra entries. Congratulations. <laughs> There's the confetti. <laughs> love it <laughs> I feel like I feel like the winning is just so anticlimactic without the cheers and now it's even better with the confetti <laughs> give the others away what are you talking about you just want the wallet you don't want the four extra entries to win boots are you crazy Are you crazy? Hey, Archie, how's it going? All right. How's everybody doing tonight? I think I'm going to play some more music. Did, does, does anybody have any requests or anything? I feel like I feel like I want to play one more song before signing off if you guys want to hang out for a second. Or we can chat if you guys got questions. Questions or requests for songs if you guys are feeling like anything. I can't play covers, just so you know. I was able to play the Skip James song because it's in the public domain. Dawson wins the spam race. There wasn't even any chance for anybody to give any spam because it was just the first comment. <laughs> that's the first time that that's ever happened. It's the first time that's ever happened. We got two requests for Old Boots Got Soul right off the bat, so I'm going to do that. Oh, Red Haired Boy is such a good song. I love me some Willie Nelson. Can't play covers though. Not on YouTube. I don't have the I don't have the rights. Now that I'm a monetized channel, I gotta keep good track of copyrights. Copyright infringement is a real thing. And I won't have a channel for long if I disobey that. <laughs> Three strikes and you're out. Old 
Roots Got Soul, coming right up. I'm on again tomorrow. Um, I don't remember what the topic is. Cowboy boots. Huh. It's something about cowboy boots. <laughs> oh. I'll check I'll check in a second. I'm gonna play old boots got soul. Let's do this thing. In the morning, on an uneasy day, the world is split and unsure, so I'm sure to step in the strongest way. With every footfall, I remember who I am. Each and every memory helps strengthen how I stand. We are cracks, but we shine. a belief or dead end that can keep us confined except corona old boots got soul so i patch them when they need it and this life has a toll so i bandage when i'm bleeding old boots got soul and i carry on this way we get better every day Come home in the evening after a hard working day. I'm proud of what I've done, even if it's just for a little pay. I kick off my boots before we do it all again. Always remembering where I'm going and never forgetting where I've been. We are great, but we shine. Every step for decades will be mine. Yeah. Old boots got soul, so I patch them when they need it. And this life has a toll, so I bandage when I'm bleeding. Old boots got soul, and I carry on this way, and we get better. Said old boots got soul, and I patch them when they need it. And this life has a toll, so I bandage when I'm bleeding. Old boots got soul, and I carry on this way, and we get better every day. Old Boots Got Soul. You can hear that on iTunes and Apple Play and Spotify and Google Play. Everywhere. Thank you for the suggestion, guys. Appreciate that. Old Boots Got Holes. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Thank the... Medical and first responders, God bless. Totally true, yes. Huge shout out to the first responders, the police officers, the emergency folks who still have to show up through all of this and are putting themselves at risk because they got to get close to us if we're in trouble. So huge shout out to all those folks keeping us safe and keeping us healthy. You want me to publish the sheet music to Old Boots Got Soul? I got a video up about how to play it, so I kind of run through the chords. <clears throat> but uh, 
I could try to do sh some sheet music. You're not the first to ask. Thomas asks, how long does it take for me to write a song? It really depends. Sometimes it takes, sometimes it takes days, sometimes weeks to finish one song. Just because I'm tweaking it here and there, here and there. Sometimes it takes five minutes to finish the song. So I've written songs in five minutes and I've written songs in like five weeks. So it, there's no hard and fast rule. And I think that every songwriter could probably say the same thing. Um, anybody who's written several hundreds of songs anyways, I've written so many, it's not even funny. Um, even just thinking about it gets me stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> so it really really depends average if you're looking for an average time probably an hour probably an hour um, but then again like some take three hours some take 20 minutes so it's really a, a huge range um, it really depends so Bryce, I've already scheduled all the streams. Uh, I'm not very good at sharing. I've been doing so many streams. I'm, I haven't been very good at sharing all the links to them, though. So I'm going to try to figure out how to be better at that. You need a song called Coffee and Cowboy Boots. Ooh, I like that. I think I might do that, Moses. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Now that you have now that you've asked me about like how long it takes me to write a song, I'm going to play you the song that took me about five minutes, if not less. So about as long as this song is, it took me to write it. Called grudges that the demons lack. It's a song about how you shouldn't hold grudges because they hold you back from your potential. Oh. Moving to the street at a half past twelve. Mama says to watch yourself With the dirty demons all right behind mm. Trying to get you in good time Better watch your back now Now you're moving slow, heavy on your back Carrying grudges that the demons lay they just come up and doing that job yeah. Looking for your soul to rob mm -hmm. Can't you see through your holy eyes As the sun begin to rise Yeah, you're losing everything along the way on your way to a brighter day Ooh, is this how the heavens meant it all to be is your love so weak that it shivers in the breeze is this how is this how the heavens are meant it all to be is your love so weak that it shivers in the breeze? And you let it oh, oh you let it oh, don't you know you let everything fly away? Now 
how you ain't got no great disguise Pulling up the collar to cover your eyes Yeah, you're moving slow, heavy on your back Carrying grudges that the demons lack Ooh, is this how the heavens meant it all to be? Shivers in the breeze. Mm, and you let it all. Oh, you let it all. Oh, yeah. Don't you know you let everything fly away? Grudges that the demons lack. That song only took me five minutes to write. But I have written songs in a shorter span of time. Mainly when I make them up on the spot. <laughs> and they're always not so good. Oh, thank you so much, Raymond, for hanging out tonight. Yo, how's it going, everybody? I hope you have a spectacular rest of your evening. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this quarantine live stream number eight. I really appreciate you guys. You are the best. We're going to be here again tomorrow, but tomorrow is a afternoon one for all of you folks who are home and looking for things to do while school's out, while college is out, while you're home from work, while you're working from home and you have me on the background. That's cool too. So tomorrow's live stream is at 2 p.m. Eastern time and 11 a.m. Pacific time out there on the West Coast. And I'm just going to pull up what we are talking about tomorrow. Tomorrow we are talking about... We got some cool giveaways, too. I got another T-shirt to give away. If you guys remember Al's Bootery and Repair Shop, they have a really cool T-shirt, and they donated one to give away. So we got Al's Bootery and Repair Shop in the house tomorrow. We are talking about... What to do if your boots are too big? A lot of people have a lot of answers. Some of them are complete myths. So tomorrow, I'm finally setting the record straight about what you should do if your cowboy boots are too big. All right? Finally setting the record straight. I'm done. So I will see you guys tomorrow at... I sound angry. <laughs> I'm not angry. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Congrats again to, oh, geez, who was the first winner? I'll go back and listen. And then Dawson, the second winner. Thank you. You guys are the best. And if you haven't heard from me yet, you will soon for all you winners out there. Everybody else, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's another chance to win. Have a good one. Peace, everybody.